Hi everyone, Pierre Rick from P2 Design. Here is a breakdown of my latest animation. This animation was created to illustrate my latest rigging tutorial. For the most curious of you, you can watch the full time lapse of this animation following the link in the description. Let's get started. This animation took me a little more than 3 hours to be done, rendered and composed. I wanted the character to be hit by surprise by a magical axe, snapping onto his back. So it has to start in kind of a idle position. He will be kind of afraid, slowly turning around to see what he had on his back. And realize with surprise it's a magical axe he can summon in any of his hands. All of this in a fancy choreography. The camera was animated pretty rapidly. At first, I wanted to add a rotation around the character, but it made things harder and not necessarily better. So I just kept it facing the character and getting further as he got hit so that we feel the impact while being in front of him. And then framing the whole character to get a pretty heroic point of view. When I'm polishing the animation of a character, I'm almost always starting with the center of gravity of the character. And then all the other parts are dealt with a slight delay in their movement or follow through animation. When animating for a given take with a camera, it's easier to focus on the arcs the character is doing because the point of view won't change. It's way harder when animating for games where you need the animation to work from any angle the player can see. Let's have a look to the different arcs I put in my animation. I will be using keyframe MP to review the animation. You'll find the link in the description below. During the idle, the character is rotating from left to right. When doing so, it's always good to add a little up and down motion, whether it's in the head or even on the whole body here. I've also added a slight movement in the figures to make it more alive. On the impact, since I couldn't really show the body bending in front view, I've used the arm to draw very extreme arcs. They are raising before getting projected toward the viewer. See how I'm breaking the arm joints to get those curves. When animating for a shot, it's important to think in two dimension. It's the time where the camera is moving backward fast. Notice the slight jiggle in the camera when it stops. When the character is recovering, I've kept his shoulders raised as much as possible to show the fear he has, knowing something is on his back. The arms raised toward the body increases this feeling. When he's turning his head toward the axe, notice that I've again created an up and down motion for the head. Whenever I'm preparing a strong action or feeling, in this case the surprise, I like to use very short anticipation. Look how he slightly pushes his head in his shoulder before extending his whole body. The small anticipation will emphasize the movement, not the slight squash and stretch on the head movement too. The more he realizes, the more the ends open. Now that he has discovered the surprise, he will jump into his first heroic pose. Since it's going to be a pretty extreme pose, as before, I will add a very short anticipation of 2 frames. He raises a little more and slides into this new pose. Notice again the up and down arc made by the pelvis. Here, the line of action is pretty clear, with the straight leg aligned with the axe. We can feel his gathering energy in this anticipation pose. Again, I use a super short additional anticipation of a frame before he swing on the other side. Another up and down arc is drawn by the arms. I've also input a bit of stretching and jiggle in the arm so that we can feel the inertia. But I've kept the body pretty still. This input a feeling of control and balance. See the line of action from the left toe to the tip of the axe. Since we are holding the pose, I've input a bit of arm and hand motion 
not to make things too static. Notice he's closing his hand while the axe is disappearing to make the sequence more appealing. While he's moving into the last pose, see the arc motion of the pelvis. Notice the slight anticipation of the axe catching. He opens his right hand and closes it pretty strongly, adding a bit of squash onto it while the left arm is getting dragged to the right while the axe appears dragging the whole body and creating a very clear line of action. A nice arc with a pyramidal shape, like super heroic. The axe animation was pretty simple. I've made squash and stretch animations using scaling, and I've amplified the motion using an FX. At the very beginning, since the axe was following the body, since it's a child of the backpack slot, I've used space switching to keep it in place and animate it at will in world space. The FX is a simple plane with a gradient texture mixed with a noise texture. I've then just animated the scaling of the plane. I've then rendered the animation, make some tweaking in After Effect, and I was done. If you like those animation breakdown videos, please let me know in the comment below. This is the end of this video, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!